Keep admitting fast, dear. It comes on my screen and bothers me when I have to speak. So another minute to go, perhaps, and I will be starting, please. We are all set and I'm so happy to see all our friends around here. That's so, so good. <clears throat> So here we go. <clears throat> so good evening, ladies and gentlemen, a wonderful and a loving namaste from India to all the educators around the globe. Uh, thank you so much for joining this Rise Up for SDGs 2021, episode 12, SDG 12 conference today, the fabulous Friday, 25th of June, 2021. Welcome to all of you. And these are our fantastic uh, panelists here. Yes, and our partners are UNODC, United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, SDG Chapal, Smart Sustain Next Schools, and this project is initiated by Paramjit Cordillo and facilitated by Ms. Rita Singh and Bushra and S. Nakwi. 972 educators from 52 countries are collaborating. We have 3,663 3, students work here globally and they're contributing for their posters, for their artwork, their articles, their raps, the videos, the Minecraft projects. 12 editions of newsletters have been published uh, with students' work. What a delightful moment when we publish it. 86 panelists from 28 countries have participated, including today's in these 12 conferences at to date. Duration of this project is eight months, January 2021 to August 2021. SDG's Global Day celebration, September 2021, and conference is always of 60 minutes only. Virtual meeting every second and fourth Friday, and of course, the agenda is always SDGs. The next two conferences are on Friday, 9th July 2021, 13, the most popular SDGs among students and educators, climate action, and then of course, another popular one, 14, goal number 14 on Friday, 23rd July 2021, live below water. And... We have a special guest today. She is Ms. Anne Cosma, Educator Innovation Lead Flipgrid at Microsoft. Her message is there. A wonderful moderator, Mr. Kamal Stani Kizai, lecturer at Teacher Training College, Jalalabad, Afghanistan. Graduate with English, uh, in English Literature, educator at Teacher Training College, he has, he's an ISA mentor, and he's also the classroom, uh, the ambassador, and he's also an MI expert, expert. We have Kalpana Kishore Kumar from Chunghua Middle School, Bandar Seri Begawan Bruni, head of digital learning, masters in English language and literature and psychology disciplines, Microsoft trainer, MI fellow and MI expert, National Geographic certified educator, 
Best Educator of the Year Award for APAC Region, Betesia. Congratulations, dear, for that. And National Champion won the Dynamic Educator of the Year Award 2020 in Innovative Educators Competition, Bruni, uh, Daru Salam. And then we have this wonderful Energetic Mr. Abdi Khader Ismail, Principal, Mawan Gaza Muslim, Mararal Pinia. Uh, top 50 Global Teacher Prize nominee 2018. So proud to have you, sir. And then um, uh, we have um, from, uh, he's from Kenya, and uh, he's a master trainer, British Council Kenya, awarded as Global Training Ambassador by World Bank and Ministry of Education Egypt 2020. Welcome, sir. And a wonderful educator, Mr. Amandeep Singh Ruprai, Kamala Nehru Public School, Punjab, India. His PGD computer science expertise in media and artificial intelligence, graphic designer, and he's a theologian by soul and content creator by passion. Um, moving on, we have Ms. Nega Dasjad, Principal Bloomsfield Hall School. JT Lahore, Pakistan, educationist for last 22 years, global master trainer for core skills, master trainer for leadership and management, and ISA mentor and assessor, British Council. ENO, national team member and SDG enthusiast. Welcome, dear Nikhil. And then we have Ms. Fulti Hegre, NO Pair School, Mangalore, India, B in computer science, SEO analysis. Uh, early childhood educator for last six years, NEPI, uh, NEP1 coordinator at the Inopia School, Mangalore, India. Welcome, Spooti, and she is going to walk us through the art gallery, and Mr. Amandeep is going to show us the newsletter today. Ms. Sonia Badwa, the Sanskar Valley School, Madhya Pradesh, India, and Ms. Sonia is IT manager in HOD ICT, 24 years experience. Skype teacher, Microsoft Technology Associate for Java and Python, Microsoft Office Specialist, plenty of feathers in a cap, Wakelet and Flipgrid Ambassador, Master Trainer, MIE Expert, MIE Fellow, Google Certified Digital Citizenship Facilitator, Adobe Education Leader and Certified AI Education Integration Trainer. Welcome, dear Sonia. And we move on. And this is a special welcome message from Ms. Anne Cosma, and she's so happy we are using Flipgrid in a big way and giving voice to the students. Yes, please. Hello, everybody. Hello and welcome. My name is Anne Cosma, and I work on Team Flipgrid at Microsoft as an educator innovation lead. That means my job is a teacher helping teachers. And I just wanted to send a special greeting to all of you in this Rise Up for SDGs International Collaborative Project. You all are doing incredible work to advocate for not only the sustainable development goals, but help your students find creative ways to use their voice to make a change. You all are incredible educators and advocates in this global program helping to unite children and schools around the world as stakeholders in the UN goal to help us all prepare for 2030. And the sustainable development goals is one way that we can all come together to make the world a better place. So to all of you in this Rise Up for SDGs family, I simply want to say thank you. Thank you on behalf of Team Flipgrid at Microsoft for all you do to empower your learning communities. I wish I could be there with you, but I'm sending this video and nothing but my heartfelt gratitude, admiration, and respect for the work that you do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope you have an incredible time discussing not only SDG 12, however, all of the SDGs and your work in this Rise Up for SDGs community. Thank you, and I wish you an entirely wonderful time communicating, collaborating, and being change makers together. Thank you, take care, and bye. So, thank you, Cosmo. 
and Cosma, that was so, so kind of you Thank to you, share Madam this Gandhi. video uh, specifically for Rise of SDG International Collaborative Project. Our honor, our privilege, and we, with all humility, we thank you from the core of our heart. Uh, let me share what Kamala Nehru Public School does to accelerate SDG 12 target 12.5. In session 2021, students donated present class textbooks. Donated to students promoted to next class session 2021-22. Pure camaraderie, students helping students. Supporting juniors during the tough times of pandemic. Financial burden on parents reduced during COVID-19. Educators facilitated collection of textbooks in school. 789 students from grade nursery to eight donated all books to the school book bank putting SDG 12 into action. What a satisfying moment and a day. We practice, we preach, and we promote SDGs in our school. Thank you, dear educators. Thank you, dear parents. And thank you, my wonderful, wonderful uh, students for uh, this wonderful endeavor. Thank you. Moving on. Now, we have a moderator, Mr. Kamal Stan Kizai, lecturer at training, a teacher training college, Jalalabad, Afghanistan. Thank you so much, Kamal, for uh, being the wonderful moderator. And it's your turn now. Over to Mr. Kamal. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Uh, I would like to invite some keynote speaker, Ms. Kalpana Keshuri Kumar, to present her name. Ms. Keshuri Kumar. Thank you, Mr. Kamar. What a wonderful theme to celebrate sustainable development goal at school. I applaud the effort of Madam Paranjit and Kamala Nehru Public School for this incredible event planned every uh, twice in a month. I'm proud to be here as your speaker. Next slide. Everyone thinks of changing the world, but no one thinks of changing himself. What is Sustainable Development Goal 12? It is all about consuming and uh, producing the patterns and it's all about industry, all about farming, everything. And it is all about promoting uh, resource and energy efficiency. It is providing decent jobs and opportunities for people. It is to provide basic access and basic services. And all in all, it is all about providing a better quality life for all. It is a call of action by all countries developed, underdeveloped, or developing countries to promote prosperity while protecting their planet. Next slide. Here we have the targets of Sustainable Development Goal 12. We have eight, uh, sorry, 11 indicators and 13, um, 11 targets and 13 indicators. It is more important that I will be concentrating on the key aspects. It is about energy, water, and food. While talking about energy, it is very important to understand that the demand for energy is increasing year by year. The efficiency of energy has also increased, and globally what we can see today is the consumption of energy has also grown rapidly. One-fifth of the world's energy is produced from renewable resources. But still, we have to accept the factor that there are people who do not have access to electricity. While it is about food, I would like to point out that more than billions of tons of food is wasted every year. And there are people who have left malnourished or undernourished, whatever you say it. Because of the extreme weather conditions, poor soil fertility, it, the food production is affected. Moreover, our marine environment is facing degradation due to overfishing warming oceans, etc. Nearly one trillion worth of food is wasted every year due to poor transportation and harvesting methods. 
one picture says it all. This is a picture that was awarded Pulitzer Prize in 1994, a vulture and a starving Sudanese girl. After seeing this picture, I changed my life and I have become a smart and a responsible consumer. Next slide, please. Less than 3% of the world is currently enjoying fresh water, agricultural activities and industries, hydroelectric power, and moreover, households consume the rest. We have to accept that water is not equally distributed. While there are people who are facing water stress, I would like to pinpoint that last year, Cape Town was facing something similar. And majority of the water resources that we are facing, to, that we are enjoying today is facing pollution. And more than 1 billion people do not have access to clean or pure drinking water. While the last year of the world population is enjoying too little, whereas the other part is enjoying so much. And SCP aims at by doing more with less. It is all about improving quality of life and economic gains by reducing the amount of resources by use and by creating less pollution. And why education and why it has to go hand in hand with SDG? Remember, schools and teachers have the power to bring development and revolution in the country. It is imperative for them to build a sustainable society where we are teaching them at the young age about responsible consumption. By experiential learning, they learn more about environment and how our actions are affecting it. It is to sensitize students to consume in a more ethical and responsible way. It is all about making them change makers in their communities. We have to accept that there is an urgent action that is required. Next slide, ma'am. The urgent action is needed. It is in this matter that I would like to pinpoint that there is a current material needs and it has resulted in over extraction of resources. At the same time, we are also facing a degradation in our environmental resources. It is imperative for the government and the stakeholders to draft and amend policies to improve the efficacy and reduce waste. On the whole, it is all about practicing sustainability in all sectors of the society. It is also about laying a solid foundation of fulfilling social responsibility. Next slide. Sustainability is no longer about doing less harm. It is about doing more good. As a smart customer, what we have is the power to change the world by just becoming careful in what we buy. To sum up, let your wants take a back seat and allow your basic needs to support SDG 12. I support SDG. How about you? Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Kalfana, from your great speech. Really admirable. I would like to invite Mr. to present her school SDG 12 story, Mr. Abdul Qadir. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to everyone, wherever you are and listening to us. Um, it's it's a great honor to be a panelist in this important discussion. Changing unsustainable patterns of consumption and production has many perspectives. Whereas we have the global aspect of looking at it, each one of us plays an integral part within our various contexts. School in Maralal, Kenya. Um, I will share my story on changing and sustainable patterns of consumption and production. And if you look at the one next, that is the photo of our school. This school is located in a town called Maralal, which is in Samburu County. In, the school started in the year 2016, uh, and this is the sixth year that we are located in a restrained area. As you can see from the photo, uh, the trees that you see are thorn trees, they are acacia. 
they ask they are they, they are themselves an example of what conservation is all about because you can see there are three trees that have thorns and they have very tiny leaves to ensure that very little water is lost and they protect themselves using the same so this is an example of uh, of what we go through in terms of uh, having water so my presentation will be about this school and, and uh, my role as a school leader all of us have been affected by covid-19 in an unexpected way we are all in the same storm but we are chatting the rough waters of covid in our different vessels it's the same story that we have on our side one of the key recommendations of the world health organization is that we must have running water and this is a key recommendation that the world health organization has given all our ministry of health are telling us that one of the covid protocols is sanitation and hygiene services are an essential part of preventing and protecting our health these are been made more prominent with the coming of covid and this has been made more prominent with the coming of of covid-19 and uh, which has been, now if you look at the next slide cool and don't have running water and you can see if from the next slide i'm asking what uh, through the solutions that are available but more important out of it is the solution must be sustainable let's move to the next two slides i've just finished explaining on why so we have what it is that we wanted to do and this is the so story i'm sharing water harvesting please move to the next slide natural water that we get and first to do this was for us to look for ways in which we can have it in a way that is sustainable within the school so in the next few slides you will see photos of the school and uh, how it is that we are working on water harvesting in this photo that you are seeing here we decided to do harvesting water that ensure that we take the water from uh, uh, that falls on all the roofs let's go back to the previous so explain out we take all the water that is on the roofs and central co uh, container where we shall serve the water to our students and the main purpose of uh, having all the water in one place is to ensure their safety and also the sustainability we use our water mainly for these uh, four main purposes cooking drinking uh, cleaning of utensils utensils and class hygiene when we are talking of class hygiene we do not have to clean our classes every day of the of, of the week but we clean them and uh, not necessarily by mopping them we clean them by sweeping and then we mop them once in a week now what does sustainability mean to us thank you for sharing the storage now let's move to sustainability um in sdg 12 move to the next slide charu in sdg 12 we are talking of encourage and promote the development of a framework in support of initiatives to accelerate the shift towards sustainable consumption and production to promote social and economic development within the carrying capacity of ecosystems now i want to talk about my own ecosystem and that is what we have been sharing with you charu if you could have moved to the next slide they will have seen it the one on sustainability before thank you so when we are talking about our own ecosystem i have shared it is a situation where we are, we are we do not have enough water and we have to come up with our own innovative ways of ensuring that we store the much that we can within our current uh, capacity of ecosystems thank you very much and i wish you all well as we listen to and discuss further on sdg 12 thank you so much mr abdul kadir from your great presentation and your great story 
Thank you so much. I would like to invite Mr. Amandeep Singh Roprai to present his newsletter. to present this newsletter on STG 12 that is responsible consumption and Hello everyone, it is an honor and pride to present this newsletter on STG 12 that is responsible consumption and production. This project is initiated by Ms. Paramjit Kordhalo and facilitated by Ms. Rita Singh and Ms. Koshra. Over 600 artworks, videos, and write-ups were shared by the students all across the globe. So let's have a glance of this newsletter. These are the targets we are focusing on, and we are supporting 11 targets in total and 13 indicators under this STG 12. On the left-hand side, we have beautiful message by our guiding light, Ms. Paramjit Kordhalo. On the right-hand side, mentioned are the guest and panelists for today's session. This newsletter has five different sections. So let's begin with the section A. The section A is all about community voice. We received a lot of beautiful videos for this particular section. Here comes the section B, that is the art gallery. The space is full of art, craft, and digital graphics. So first on the right-hand side, we have Bal Bharti Public School Dwarka presenting their marvelous artwork. Followed by Delhi Public School with some eye-catchy sketches. Next, we have Golden Gate Global School, Uttar Pradesh, displaying their amazing art skills. Up next, Happy School, New Delhi. Their munchkins are so talented. Here we go with Kamala Nehru Public School, Punjab, India, representing their outstanding art and craft to support STG 12. Sate Anandram Jaipuriya School comes with their super attractive artwork. Not audible. Your voice is not audible, Mr. Abdul Over 600 artworks, videos, and write-ups were shared by the students all across the globe. So let's have a glance of this newsletter. These are the targets we are focusing on, and we are supporting the 11. Here we go with Kamala Nehru Public School, Punjab, India, representing their outstanding art and craft to support STG 12. Sate Anandram Jaipuriya School comes with their super attractive artwork. Rotary Public School Guru Gram joins in with 50 plus entries in support of STG 12. Followed by the global school Uttarakhand displayed a bunch of colorful sketches. Venkateshwar Global School is the next with so many beautiful entries. Next, Sri Seshas International School, Tamil Nadu, showing their artistic skills. Some handcrafts and DIYs are performed by VVDAV Public School. 
followed by Yenakoya School, Mangalore, India. Their artwork is so, so informative. Here we have on the right hand side, Wisman School is real. Through this activity, they have proudly claimed that we are the ambassadors of nature. Kent Public Girl High School, Rawalpindi, Pakistan is the next presenting the super amazing handcraft and artwork. Now we have some tiny toddlers of Master Playground, Columbus and UAE proudly supporting SDG 12 with their drawings. On the right hand side, Bloomfield Hall, Lahore, Pakistan and SK St. Patrick, Malaysia are next with their so beautiful artworks followed by SK Batu Balai and SK Gimera, Malaysia showing their excellent artistic skills. PSGR Krishnamal School shared over 50 entries. These cute and smiling faces are so passionate and are expressing their thoughts through their art. All right, Ponlesh India, Sarva Birla Gyanjyoti, Assam India, Alcon International School, Delhi, Sekh Kola, Renda, Islam Al Amin, Malaysia have shared their mind blowing handmade and digital posters. Up next on the right hand side, it's Indrapuram Public School, Ghaziabad, comes with these amazing and colorful art. Followed by, we have Rayan International School, Sharjah. These talented growing birds are showing their fabulous artworks. Then we have Radiant International School, Delhi. Well, these artists carry deep thoughts and they are displaying these thoughts through these paintings. Next, the lined up appealing entries are by Worldway International School, Bhopal, Sushila Birla Girls School, Kolkata, India. Just look at these shining and smiling faces. Here we have SJKT, Rumbai, Malaysia and WIIS, India with their creative artwork followed by a foundation named Jandran Welfare Foundation, Balochistan. Then we have Sanskar Valley School, Bhopal. These little ones are so visionary and their artwork looks so tremendous. Last but not the least, here we have secondary school, number five, Russia. These offsprings have reused the waste material exceptionally and these drawings are so unreal. Let's hop towards section C in which the students are showcasing their sustainable Minecraft world. Okay, the section D is all about creative writing. Over 20 paragraphs, poems and stories are shared by the young SDG supporters in this particular section. Now comes the section E, specially dedicated to parents, grandparents and educator. And that's pretty much it. I request you to participate in next featured SDG Goal 13 Climate Action. Share your work on Wakelet and Flipgrid. Join the movement by using these mentioned tags on social media. Contact us for any query. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, Mr. Ramandeep Singh. Really incredible and amazing newsletter you have presented. I would like to invite Ms. Nigat Asjad to present her, her school story. Ms. Nigat Asjad. Good evening, everyone. I'm first up. I'm honored to be here amongst you talking about SDG 12 and my school today. It has been so exciting for me to listen to all your stories uh, and hear about your schools over the past few weeks, rather months. Today, I'm eager to share a snippet of my work my school has been doing, particularly for Goal 12. Our work here at BHS is defined by a mission statement coined when the school was found, a particular focus along with provision of quality education is to ensure that we are raising and shaping mindful citizens. Uh, since the inception of STGs in 2015, we began teaching our students what they stand for, what they imply and why are they necessary. We ensured that the, from classroom to co and extracurricular activities, the STGs were incorporated and that the children would always be reminded of them. Here you can see one of our constant uh, displays regarding the STGs. 
Since we took the targets and message of the SDGs in complete stride, and International School Award by British Council uh, is the core uh, has the core of SDGs, we were awarded the award twice. The crux of this presentation is, however, that from 2019 to 2020 session, we particularly focused on goal 12. Everyone from the students, staff, management to the parent body were involved in the taking up of this goal. Our first effort uh, was to notify our community that we could uh, we would be transitioning into a plastic free campus effective immediately. We wanted to ensure that this decision was made, uh, was met with no confusion or hesitation. So we organized several workshops, tutorials during the beginning of the session to explain to the students why go going plastic free is necessary and what responsible and sustainable consumption look can look like from their end and how can they turn themselves into responsible citizens. We were uh, quite fortunate to partner with Trash must be translating to trash is fun to help meet our plastic free and recyclable goals. And uh, all schools, next slide, ma'am. All schools are part of neighborhoods and communities. Next, please. And we notified our communities that we would be happy to receive their plastic and recyclable waste during the first week of every month and pass it on to Trash Masti to be recycled. It is very important as recycling is not common in Pakistani homes yet and reusable goods get thrown in waste. Trash Masti would give us plants every month in return for our recycled products. Uh, being an uh, active Eno national partner, we, uh, we don't lose any opportunity to plant a few trees. So yes, we were really glad with this arrangement. We also made and provided a reusable cloth bags with attractive pro-environment environment captions at a very small cost to all students and the community of the school, uh, hereby uh, encouraging them to discontinue the use of plastic. To continue with our efforts of embodying Goal 12, we organized various cleanliness drives and collaborated with World Wildlife Fund and Trash Masti to clean the streets of our city. And you can see here my students being actively working and uh, to encourage, what else did we do? We encourage um, a creativity and expression and sustainability. We also encourage the students to come up with quirky science projects using their accumulated waste used materials from homes. And they came up with some mind boggling projects. Our annual prize distribution is one of the key events of the year attended by all students, parents and head office and external guests. The SDGs and Goal 12 were our theme for this prestigious event. The event consisted of environment advocates as guest speakers and students presenting all details required for the awareness of SDGs. You can see a glimpse of that. And all guests at the event were also gifted with seed balls. You can see them on your screen. Each of these sack bags contained our own made seed balls, which were formed using waste paper and seeds. During COVID lockdown, we got the chance to open schools for a very short time. During this, we asked students to bring in any items that could be refurbished, such as toys and clothes, so that we could upskill them and do donate them to underprivileged students. Uh, activity Gift of Happiness taught students that recycling plastic and waste is not only the purpose of SDG 12, bringing a, a thing in use, as much as you can, is also the integral part of goal 12. You can see that heaps of things were accumulated. Thank you very much. This was our story, and I hope some of you get inspired. You have been a wonderful audience. Thank you very much for having me. Have a nice day. 
Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Negat, from your wonderful presentation that uh, you have presented, really admirable. I would like to invite Ms. Purti to present her school story regarding SDG 12. Ms. Purti, to, sorry, to present virtual gallery, art gallery. Welcome to the virtual art gallery of SDG 12. Let's walk through the room of this amazing art gallery and be mesmerized. Presenting before you masterpieces from Radiant International School, India. Next is wonderful collection from Venkateshwara Global School, India. Collection by Kamla Nehru Public School, Pagwara, India. Kudos to the educators and children. The enthusiastic and artistic skills have been portrayed very beautifully through their artwork. Phenomenal work by Finish India. Followed by amazing work by Delhi Public School, Nasik India. Our screens are definitely vibrant and colorful. work shared by Master Playgroup UAE. Brilliant work shared by the Enapoya School, Mangla, India. Balbharati Public School, India has shared with us some amazing work. Indiana Columbus presenting work from SKST Patrick Tawau Malaysia wonderful work from Seth Anandaram Jaipura School Ghaziabad which will definitely blow your mind from PSDR Krishna Kamal Nursery and Primary School Tamil Nadu, India. Sarala 
Birla, Gyan Jyoti, Assam, India has shared their fantastic work on Goal SDG 12. Sparkling painting from Rosie Public School, Gurgaon, India. Here comes Extraordinary work shared by Ryan International School, Sharjah. Collection by Golden Gate Global School India. Wonderful collection by Alcon International School India. Excellent work shared by Veda Pyasa, the AV Public School India. Here comes fabulous contribution by Happy School Dairaganti India. Beautiful work from Shri Shahasas International Public School, Tamil Nadu, India. Furthermore, we have glorious work from Shiksha Nuru, the Global School, Uttarkhand, India. Stunning work from Sushila Birla, Girls School, Kolkata, India. The Sanskar Valley School, Bhopal, India has shared the fantastic work on Goal SDG 12. Beautiful work by Solomon Alexandra from Bucharest, Romania. Outstanding work done by Secondary School No. 5, Russia. We have SK Batu Bali, Malaysia's overwhelming work, marvelous work by SJKT, Rumbia, and fabulous work from SK Tiara, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Awesome work by Jandaran Welfare Foundation, Balochistan. Stunning work from SK Gemram, Malaysia. Furthermore, we have fabulous contribution from Kant Public Girls High School, Pakistan. And beautiful work shared by Bloomfield Hall, Lahore, Pakistan. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much, Ms. Furti, regarding your very beautiful and interesting, amazing art gallery. So nice and interesting. We'd like to invite, invite Ms. Sunia with her to present her school story. Ms. Wurda, Sunia. Thank you, sir. Greetings and namaste to all the esteemed guests in the room today. It is my proud privilege to share the story of my school on SDG 12. Talking about my school, the Sanskar Valley School, Bhopal. It is a day come boarding school in the heart of India, and we are a progressive community who is proactively taking part in making our students contribute and act towards all the SDGs in their own little ways. Moving on to goal number 12, which is responsible consumption and production. We believe that this needs to be inculcated in the students as a habit. And for the same, we do certain things like delegating certain responsibilities to the students, run various student led cam campaigns, celebrate special days and create opportunities to sensitize our students and make them reflect on their actions. There are a couple of good practices that we follow in school and through this presentation, we would like to share the same with you all today. First of all, there are electricity monitors who are being deployed in all the classes and they are responsible for switching off lights and fans as and when students move out of the classroom for meals and activities. On the next screen, you see they are encouraged in all means to save energy. We have student led mess committee who monitors the wastage of food in mess and encourages students to not to waste food. The student rep take attendance along with teacher in charges in the bus and send 
this attendance is sent to the dining hall in the morning so that the requisite number of meals packets can be prepared and there is no wastage during the pandemic our school did a survey among all the government hospitals and asked them the requirement about the meals required for patients and their attendees and provided the requisite number of food packets for more than a month students run no water wastage campaign the posters are put up near the water refill station in all the blocks and students are encouraged not to waste even a drop of water we sensitize them time to time on multiple occasions like world water day and remind them to be mindful and always save water we ensure to minimize the fuel consumption in all the vehicles that come and go from school the staff and students on bus uh, the staff rep and the student uh, you know uh, in charges on the bus tell the students to be ready a stop before to save time and fuel so that we can minimize the use usage of every single resource moving on we have this kabar se jugad competition which the school organizes in all the blocks multiple times a year to reinforce the habit of reduce reuse and recycle on the screen you see some of the beautiful creations created by our middle school primary school junior school students we have multiple recycling units at school for water from dining hall and boarding houses the water is reduced so is recycled and reused we have paper cycling unit we have e waste collection center and we ensure that every single resource is re reused and reutilized properly even the flexes and the properties which are prepared for various school competitions are also reused to a greater extent the departments are issued exact number of books and they are asked to reuse them until the syllabus is changed or a new edition is available making them responsible for the consumption of even stationery staff and students are also issued a budgeted quota of printing sheets and are always motivated to go paperless we have seen a drastic dip in the number of stationery or the pages that school procured in last 4 5 years we are going absolutely paperless moving on we are also very mindful of our carbon footprint and we try to procure things locally as much as possible teachers in the boarding houses are also encouraged to be watchful of use of appliances like ac refrigerator everything and not even a single resource should be misused we try to develop a sense of gratitude among our children by taking special drives at school as you see on the next screen our junior school recently did a project on the word b day where they actually studied how the honey is collected and what all go into the drive and how as human being we are so insensitive and we waste the resource so students were more motivated to analyze the hard work put, put put in by the pollinators and everybody in the process and they all were so great grateful to you know everybody who is involved in the process so the drives like this develop a sense of gratitude for everyone around them and make them thankful and responsible about the consumption of resources we leave no opportunity to sensitize our students be it world environment day world soil day or pollution control day we do special assemblies as you see on the next screen to bring awareness about these days to remind our students about their duties for planet earth what best they can do to save mother earth so we are a very very happy progressive and inspiring community and we are very proud to say that we promote sdg and make our every bit possible to save this planet earth so we are a promoter of sdg how about you i thank you everyone for giving my school and myself this opportunity to be on this prestigious platform and share our best practices and these little initiative thank you and over to you sir thank you so much ms sunya from your great presentation thank you 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 did a lot for your school thank you so much
Thank you, Kamal, uh, for being such a wonderful moderator of the day. Welcome, ma'am. Welcome, welcome. We are honored and blessed. You are the first person who has joined us from Afghanistan. So we are very, very thankful. It's my a neighborhood country and your presence was felt. Thank you so much. Very kind of you to join us. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure that I join with you as a moderator and I hope I can so. Thank you so much. Thank you. We take this opportunity to thank Kalpana Kishore Kumar, a wonderful, wonderful keynote speaker. She was so clear and uh, uh, so thoughtful when she talked about water and energy. Thank you so much, Kalpana. All the way from Brunei, she joined us. And you are the first member, uh, first educator from Brunei. Thank you so much, Kalpana, for joining us. Moving on, I would like to extend my thanks to Abdi Khader. Sir, uh, thank you so much for joining this. And it is such a pleasure to see an educator, an leader, an education hero like you, who is doing so much. Uh, you have gone in for uh, water harvesting uh, and the proper use of water even during this COVID time when regular flow of water is required. Uh, we can understand the efforts you and your community are putting up there in South Africa. We are honored, we are privileged to have you, sir, and we wish you good luck in all your projects and everything in the days to come. I'm sure uh, uh, will go on very, very well. Uh, all, all the audience here have uh, applauded you and they have really enjoyed your uh, presentation. Take this opportunity to thank Amandeep, sir. Uh, wonderful newsletter, sir. Thank you and very kind of you to, uh, to put up this newsletter. It was indeed very, very nice. Thank you, Nikit, all the way from Pakistan, our neighborhood country. We were delighted, honored, and so much you are doing. God bless you, dear. And then Spulti. Oh, it was a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous uh, virtual art gallery. I'm sure everybody loved it. You were so, so good. And what a melodious voice you have. Compliments, congratulations, and appreciation to you in a big, big, big way. Thank you for volunteering and doing justice to this uh, you know, virtual art gallery. And then, Sonia, we were delighted, honored to have you amongst us today and share your school story. Small steps, wonderful steps, the firm steps which you are doing to promote SDG 12 are par excellence. God bless you and all the best to your school. And moving on, I would now request my facilitator, Ms. Bushra, uh, who looks after the tweet tweet after every session uh, we have. And uh, over to Ms. Bushra. Yes, Bushra, please go ahead. Thank you so much, Paramjit, ma'am, and all the team of Rise Up for SDGs. It was um, indeed a great show as always. And, you know, one thing that came uh, to my mind, and we all uh, realized this as well, rather would second it. Wherever we live, whatever the language we speak, we care for the world with the same passion. And, uh, you know, be it uh, uh, taking care of water, uh, in terms of harvesting it, trash masti or kabar se jugar. So that means we really want to make this world a better place in our own practices. So participants, we won't let you stop here because uh, it's uh, great to see that we have uh, reached this far. So today is SDGs. 12th session has concluded very successfully and I'm so happy along with my team a lot. So we will involve you uh, in the tweet meet session. We'll discuss further on it on uh, 27th Sunday, uh, 8 uh, to 9 p.m. Pakistan time, 8.30 to 9.30 Indian time, and 3 to 4 p.m. UK time. So do join us and don't forget to use the hashtag we rise up for SDGs. Join us and see what uh, the educators across the globe along with you tell and share more about on it. And this is how we learn from each other. So don't forget to join us. Be there exactly on the time that we share. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Bushra. And you know what the time is? It's 6.59. It's one wow. minute to go. <laughs> and we are on the dot. And our sessions are exactly for one hour. We do not stretch. We do Good. not spill over. 
So thank you to all the wonderful audience out there. Without you, nothing can happen. And you are the life line of this, uh, this project, uh, Rise Up for SDGs. Honored, thankful, uh, privileged, uh, shorter words, uh, but yes, from the heart, I would like to thank each one of you. Maybe we can have this uh, together mode picture on Teams. And if all of you can switch on your uh, uh, videos, it will be so good. You will be occupying a seat there and we'll have a wonderful record. That's so nice. Please go ahead. The official version of our session is over, but the lovely chit chat we have after a session would continue for some time. So switch on your videos, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, and take a seat there. Please go ahead. And then you're free to speak and share what you want to share. Please go ahead. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, it's a wonderful day today. Uh, thank you so much for the moderator as well as all the panelists. Really, it's uh, as an academician, I have uh, I, I have taken so much of uh, so many uh, new projects as well as as a Rotarian. I taken few projects for community also. So wow. this platform given me for both my school and for my community. So thank you so much, uh, all the panelists. You have given me a fantastic uh, uh, activities for uh, doing this year. Thank you, thank you, Paranjit Ma'am, for giving me this opportunity to be this part of the uh, Rice of Festival. Thank you, thank you all. I have you are honored with your presen uh, presence and. Uh, your communication which you've just had with everybody. You're doing such a marvelous job. You're leading a school. You're contributing over there and looking after the special needs of the children. I bow my head in front of you. All the best. Keep on giving them opportunity. It's so nice you're involving the community and your Rotary Club also. God bless. Thank, Thank you. you ma'am. Thank, Thank you, you. ma'am. Uh, everybody can speak out. Anybody can thank say. You, thank you all. Thank you. Okay, Kamal. Thank you so much. Uh, some suggestions. How do we go about? Uh, any changes anybody expects? Uh, some improvements required. Some some uh, critics. Uh, if we have uh, there, can speak out. Uh, we always improve when we come to know about our drawbacks and our. Uh, you know, where the areas where we are lagging behind, lacking behind. Please go ahead and speak. Yes, who would like to say something now? So somebody who is suggestion, ma'am, just a suggestion, not any critic thing. Like if we can bring in one student voice for any every goal, maybe pre-recorded because children may be busy and network issues. One, this will make them feel so good because every school is sending so much good work, maybe on a flip grid or a recorded just two minute bite from student, especially from the student councils of the school, the young children, how they think about each goal. One or two student voices. That's it's my thought just. Yeah, it's a wonderful, wonderful uh, suggestion, Sonia. Uh, well taken. Uh, we also had a thought, you know, that the sequel of this particular uh, rise of, of for SDGs from September onwards would totally be for students. Uh, that's that's the thought process. So uh, it's the educators and then the students. But yes, well noted. Uh, we'll uh, definitely look into that aspect. And Paramjeet, ma'am, in uh, current days uh, terminology, we all are in uh, the habit of watching so many soaps across the globe. So season two will definitely cater children. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah, Bushra, that's so nice. We'll have all the students around there and we'll work with the students because students are the future. They are the goalkeepers. They need to look into. It was bringing the educators together was the main uh, focus which we had when we started this, that once all of us are on the same platform, same grid, and we know how to go about, uh, then surely uh, we sit back and the students move up. Uh, you know, the mother hen feeling we are going to have when the children are doing very, very well. 
So surely we'll go for it. And thank you so yes. much, Sonia, for this wonderful suggestion. Yes. And we can see Stormy as well. And uh, inspired by her 24 hour seven services for educators across the globe. So Stormy, we would like to hear from you. <laughs> yes, 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 please, Stormy, go ahead and speak. Thank you. Um, you guys are amazing. You guys are inspiring me <laughs> to keep going. Together, we are absolutely better. Together, we are changing the world. Together, our children will solve the problems we created. So I thank you guys for being my light out in the world. You shine brightly for all of us. I thank you for your mentorship and your leadership. Well, Stromi, you are a star from US. We are so thankful you were one of our panelists. And uh, we look forward to collaborating for the Global Day celebrations in September. And uh, this collaboration continues on and on. Yes, together we are stronger when it comes to SDGs. And I applaud and appreciate the amount of empowerment you're doing for educators when you're preparing them to be MI experts with your team. Congratulations for that endeavor. God bless you. Thank you. Together we are. Yes. Together we will. Yes. Yes. Uh, anybody else would like to say something? Please go ahead and speak. We all open to listening. Ma'am, I just wanted to say this is Kajal here. I just wanted to say in one of the webinar, uh, you played a very uh, good song. Someone, ma'am, was there and she was singing. Can't that be in every webinar? That was so mesmerizing and they were that was giving a good uh, positive vibe so that we can move ahead with the other projects. Yeah, we we had thought about it, but somehow it's left behind. Uh, we'll look into it. Maybe we'll do something. We'll have an SDG song for our, our uh, session. I'll see what can be done. And she was Sunita Rajiv, who was one of the panelists, and she did uh, sing. Uh, we'll see what can be done, you know. In a month, we have two sessions. You hardly you come out of one session. The other one is looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> and the yeah. result is you're so and then at the mm -hmm. top of it you know this is your passion and passion uh, passion is you can do anything for your passion so definitely we'll look into the song but, also. but you can sing two two lines here right now if you want to <laughs> <laughs> chalo chalo next time darling <laughs> <laughs> yes please uh, somebody who had raised the hand yes uh, go ahead please sunanda Yes, Sunanda, please go ahead. Unmute yourself, dear Sunanda. Good evening, everyone. Uh, from uh, I'm from DPS Varanasi. Uh, Ma'am, I just wanted to re uh, request, like we have our uh, students' voices. Can't we have songs composed by them or raps? based on the SDG 13 this time, or if we can have some suggestions, like some activities, because it's a team. So because you all are working so hard, this was like last time also I requested you. So few activities could be selected. Uh, like we can suggest, and if it is good, it is like reaching the, uh, whatever your standards are, could be taken. So this way you'll be able to get some support because you have so much of work so we can support just one activity because we have a wonderful you know there are so many teachers working together so that could be done now yeah that, that was so, our thank you so much ma'am sunanda so first of all i'm so thankful to dps varanasi nasik and one more where which which other the dps nagpur nagpur Lava Nagpur. Incredible uh, artwork you're sending. It is par excellence. What a quality. So, so thankful to you. And uh, rap song, we already had it once. We'll have it again. Rap song was very, very popular. Even Ayappa liked. Uh, uh, he said we discovered one student in grade six and we never knew that he would sing. So for sure, this is a gentleman promise a lady makes here. We'll have the rap song for sure in the next session. Uh, on climate action, everybody can look yes. into that. We have Thank the right. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. And educator song as well. Educator song. Educator song. Also? Okay, all right. Again, <laughs> the rap. 
Yeah, we'll have it. We'll look into it and we'll see how to go about. In any language, they can compose in any language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. SDGs, language is not the barrier. Uh, it is just SDGs. So yes, any language we can go for RAP. Surely we can go. And uh, that's really nice. I wish we could do a session purely for rap songs for educators only, which is not that those two songs, not the two, two uh, regular meetings. We can have one wherein we just have the rap songs. Let's see how do we go about. Maybe we we do it now or uh, something will do it, but we'll have it in September for sure. When we go for about 10 or day celebrations of this uh, global day, of uh, SDG's birthday when we celebrate with uh, the world around. We plan it out in a big way where we have all this. All your suggestions would be so, so important. We look into it, surely. Even ma'am, I want a role play there. Uh, as we have done for community one, uh, the teachers were so happy to share their photographs. So I was thinking if student, if this can be given a chance for the students, they can give a good uh, impression. So now uh, we, uh, for community, we had the teachers wearing the dresses, uh, uh, yes, the culture. So now you yes. want the students also to wear the dresses. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Yes, ma we'll do it. Done. That's no issues. In the coming climate action, we do that. Okay. Uh, Thank two you suggestions. So much. Well taken. Thank you. And remember, Thank you so much, ma'am. God bless. And remember, this is our project. We all, each one of us own it, and each one of us has has a privilege of suggesting an activity, please pen it down in the in the group. All right, be it be messenger group, be it be, be, it be WhatsApp group, please pen it down and surely it is it would be taken in the right stride and in the right perspective. We value your suggestions, you know. You are you're very, very valuable members and team members of Rise of SDGs. Uh, it's our project and we own it too. Very often I write it. I'll write it down again that we own it. When we own something, we are possessive about it. So let's be possessive about our rise of our SDG, SDGs and make sure, uh, you know, it knocks the world around. It leaves an imprint on the sands of time. It reaches United Nations office and tell the UN people, see, look, this is a project which is involving the wider community. This time the parents were there, the grandparents were there. And one of the educators, she wrote to me that, ma'am, the grandparents, can we not give them some certificates? I said, just give me a day and we'll design one. So we're going to design uh, the certificates for the grandparents. I remember one of the schools from Calcutta also where the leftover food was being uh, um, used again. And the grandparent and the child of grade one, they did, I think it was uh, Birla the school, one of the Birla schools from there. And uh, they did it. Uh, surely we'll have the, the special certificates for the parents and grandparents, which we can introduce it this time. And uh, you all can uh, surely share it with the parents, those parents who are doing wondrous jobs for us, who are helping their children at home, uh, all thanks to them. We'll be sharing the certificates uh, a day to design, please. And then maybe 100% by Monday. The target, of course, is tomorrow. So anybody else, please go ahead and speak. Otherwise, uh, thank you. Usha ji, aap to bole nahi abhi kaise kaam chalega? Aap unmute kijiye, please unmute yourself. And please speak out. You, she is our, uh, she's our angel for our school, and she's the <laughs> lucky charm for this particular project. Yes, uh, Usha ji, please go ahead and speak. Or Paranjit ji, SDG is my lucky charm. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Okay. Because it has made me grow last three years, and uh, I started with you, Kamla Nehru School, a virtual. I took a visual tip of your school. I don't know how, and that hit me. <laughs> so you're the one behind it. And I have been enjoying this journey, every child, every teacher, and such a beautiful connection with all the educators. I thought it was only you, it, it was only in the classroom. No, but it's all in the visual world also. Yes. You can feel everybody, you can feel their genuineness, you can feel everything. 
And can you imagine roping me in a dance which I've never done? Yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't crazy. dance. So. <laughs> yes, yes, for the music festival, Swati was, was very, very happy to see that. And so nice of you to be so support, supporting. I love I all the encouragement. You know, girls, they're so nice. They're so nice. Every time they're doing something so lovely and I... When she asked me, I said, okay. And then I said, what have I got myself into it? I said, forget it. <laughs> and then, you know, the wonderful, uh, encouraging words you write down in the group for all the educators. Uh, we owe so much to you for your blessings. Thank you so much. I Please love the children. I love this. And I love the way you're growing, the way we are. Got the whole world with us. It's so lovely. I don't think STG knows where they're going. <laughs> have to think where we have led them to so the all the world is there now yes I think by the time we end another few countries will join us <laughs> yeah we have we have wonderful um, the collaboration this time with russia also yeah. where we got some uh, very nice paintings some new schools from india some uh, kindergarten uh, children were painting on ice some lovely very, that was lovely and uh, afghanistan where i was born i was so yeah yeah happy. and <laughs> the target is Bhutan. Maybe next time we'll have somebody from Bhutan. You said Bhutan, since so nobody has come please, from Bhutan. Please do that. A neighborhood company, uh, country. Hmm. It's so nice uh, that you are from Afghanistan. Uh, we never knew about it. I was, and, <laughs> in Balochistan, Swani. Uh, you got somebody from Balochistan? That's where yes. I was born. Balochistan, we got some collection this time, and they talked about the camel and the uh, bicycle library. And they you shared. Know, I have lived with the it. camel. I've seen the camel in Balochistan as a little girl because I was born there. I was five or five or six when we came from Balochistan. Okay. So, see, we, yes. That's how it is. <laughs> I was so yeah. happy to see Balochistan. Small world, small world after all. And yeah. see. By joining this, all of us are knowing so much things about the different countries and Absolutely. we become more sensitive. Uh, see how we leave the tap on and how children in different countries are given a pack of uh, water, fixed water that with this you drink, you wash your hands, you wash your utensils, you do everything with this small uh, amount of water. That's what... Uh, Abdul uh, told uh, our one of our panelists, uh, I believe uh, he was Abdi Kadir. He told us about it. And it's so, such a small world. I met Abdi Kadir in 2017 in Canada. And that oh. time he told me, yes, we had gone for this um, E2 educator exchange program on basis of Microsoft. I was representing India and he was representing his country. And uh, we, uh, he had seen me do lots of work for British Council. So he walks into me and says, ma'am, you're Paramjeet. I said, yes, I am. How do you know? I've seen so many posts of yours. And then oh. we became friends. And then uh, he told me about his school. And I realized that so now, after all these years, I went on his Facebook and said, see, look, uh, we met there. And I would like you to share your school story, which you told me about. So then he was here to talk. See, this is this is what uh, it's such a beautiful thing to happen like this. But uh, thanks, uh, thanks to this connection, educators, Microsoft, um, the Facebook, the social media. So that's how we meet. And water reminds me. There's a beautiful line in the one of the girls has written. When they're not, when the well has dried up, we know the shortage of water. I thought it was such a beautiful line. I mean, that's what, how you know there's no water. Otherwise, uh -huh. one thing is there, 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 all the way, all the time. And any well can dry, whether the tube well or the regular well. Beautiful line. I really liked it. Yes, and you appreciated it. That is very yes. nice. Yes, thank you. Yes, Swati, what would you like to say? How do you feel after finishing your... Polish music uh, festival. Um, I, um, ma'am, when I come for the SDG conference, it's like um, I'm always so overwhelmed. Everything mm -hmm. else just falls short of, means you understand, we are just too overwhelmed with SDG and particularly today's school stories. I mean, I was so, so overwhelmed. Like mm -hmm. there is so much to learn. I would be showing these presentations to each of my children because right now, I'm just focusing on, you know, it's not just about artwork and creative writing. What are you doing actually? What is the sustainability of each of these things that you are doing? Are you actually doing it? 
as teachers how much are we monitoring the real time action is it being over with the posting of pictures and videos only or is it being followed i think um, it's high time we start taking that up more seriously ma'am and yes. uh, these inspiring stories today like nikhat ma'am's presentation was wow and then followed by um, i'm forgetting i mean i i just posted i took those Sonia. pictures yes Sonia was Sonia there ma'am's presentation i mean i am still reeling under that impact i want to show these over and over again to my children like i'll ask each of them to take up at least one of these and you know keep practicing it if all of us take one one small step i think we can uh, really make a difference maybe we cannot do everything everyone cannot do everything that's not possible but each one can do one small thing and that will make but keep doing it yeah. that's very important you know the first and foremost we need to introduce the goals to the children yes. Yes. learning needs to be fun yes. and art integration in learning is something which you remember all your lives that's why the art integration the yes. cbs says everything needs to have art yes. uh, in our country we we don't give so much of preference to art and we don't have uh, illustrated stories which we tell the children to write but go down to any other western countries they are all into art everything is art over there maybe we need to learn so that was how we were trying to encourage uh, all this some imprint is left in the mind of the child so once we finish with this we move on what i see more of the little children are involved and the grown ups are not there to that extent as we should be having but i'm sure once we go in from september onwards when our journey begins we'll have the the middle class the elementary class and maybe the senior classes coming up and sharing uh, we'll work on it all of us are there now so many minds are there we all can implement we all can put ideas and i'm sure it's going to work and we have pramod pramod is such a wonderful uh, person and i'm sure he's going to give us lot many ideas and we can work together for the second phase of uh, our rise of sdgs when the student involvement will be more yes from all yes. what would yes, you like to say please that for all the educators are you know they are they have so many ideas uh, just uh, before we start we will start the project like the when the students involvement would be there so before that i will request you to just share one uh, form in which uh, we, you know we can put some suggestions and then uh, you can have all the suggestions and then you can better work on that and then uh, you will be the one uh, who would be uh, putting in uh, into the frame so um, that would be wonderful um, to do and uh, apart from this i just wanted to uh, share one thing that with all the educators um, all, many of you must have um, watched the uh, elevate ad um, seminar which uh, had paramjit ma'am as uh, chief one of the, i think it was the uh, pilot uh, or the first very first seminar of them uh, mr yes, john I, from the point yes yes yeah so i watched it again and uh, i really say uh, must i i'm really very much up, uh, you know inspired ma'am because uh, everybody would think that your school is in uh, uh, one of the metropolitan city maybe may, may they may think like that but it's situated in the rural area and i heard uh, like paramjit ma'am yeah. shared that uh, some of her teachers travel uh, to some place like where they can get a range uh, uh, like internet connectivity and there there they can uh, conduct the classes so yes. they yeah, go they like them. out of yes so but this I is really uh, need patting i have goosebumps it's a fact they would stay overnight <laughs> Well, it's really inspirational story. So uh, the Philippines, uh, the, the uh, teachers from Philippines, they were more lucky than us that they got a virtual, at least a virtual trip to our school. So each one of uh, the educator who are here, we would like to see your school. We would like to like you are the I would say the queen of SDGs. So we would like to see how the school <laughs> yeah. or the children. are living all these sdgs so ma'am that would be the one of uh, its kind opportunity and i would request that before this project ends we would like to see what uh, how the things are uh, happening in kamla nehru so that we can also implement i am i come from uh, a rural area like yours like the 50% of my students they don't have the devices yet but still 
like you are doing things like a sent person. So in that way, we would also be uh, uh, looking forward to implement uh, these things in our school. So that would be, you know, um, really an inspirational thing for all of us. And then we also can come up with different ideas. We can copy yours and then, uh, we can put it uh, in our school. We can work it out uh, as it is in our school. So mm -hmm. my request is that uh, on behalf of all the educators, if you, uh, the educators who are here, if you agree for a virtual trip, just raise your hand. We mm. don't we do. Promote sir, copy nahi kehte sir, collaboration kehte Usha ma'am, first thing is to copy, we are children. So we first thing we do, we will copy and then after we do, we put our own thing in. And Param I like this phrase, queen of SDGs. Yes. That suits you. Oh, yes. You know, 980 plus teachers from Philippines, from different districts have visited different virtual classes of our school. Great. Uh, 200 have seen math, somebody has seen science, somebody has seen fine arts. Whatever they wanted, I said, I just invited them during that particular first session you talked about promote. I said, you're all welcome. Anybody can come and they actually wanted to come. And then I said, no problems. And then our teachers gave the lessons. Just imagine my 40 students are sitting and we have another 200 who are watching these. The children were comfortable. They were so happy to have visitors and the teachers were equally comfortable. We, uh, by God's grace, I think uh, uh, all we, have, uh, we started our remote learning from 2nd of April. So now we've gone through one year and we've become very, very good at our job as such. So God's grace, that's it, uh, nothing happens and then the best part is the team is very passionate and they are very, very loving. They, they have no fears, you know, I have got 10 back-end teachers right now with me here. I'm speaking here, 10 of them managing the show, right? We, we, something goes wrong, another one picks up and so on, that's what we do. See the different people share the screen at different times. So it keeps happening. We try to fight it out that, but that team is so good. And along with them, every teacher right from the kindergarten. Uh, now you made me a little sentient emotional, but I have about uh, new admissions, about 40 plus admissions in kindergarten, in nursery class only. And they know that they're not going to go to the school. And for these children, the screen is the school and still they have taken admission because the, the type of online classes we had even for the nursery children. Wow, great. It's, it's known. Otherwise, they won't put the children at all. And a school has not opened since 19th March till date, 19th March last year, 2020. Till date, the children have not gone to the school. Oh, amazing. 100% remote learning is going on. And parents are very happy. Everybody, God's grace, it's just, you know, God's blessing. That's why things are happening. Otherwise, it won't happen. Man proposes and plans. And even the teachers have not gone to the school. Along with that. It's not that what you have to go to the school. No, I have not gone. Teachers have not gone to the school at all. Their safety is very, very important. They are there at their places, teaching from their places. So that's how But every day I have a staff well-being call where I meet every teacher and we talk about, we share our success, we share our challenges. Whatever challenges we have, today this happened, today this happened. So there's another one telling, why did you not do like this? We could you have sorted out. So we uh, we have started helping each other and it's wonderful. I would like Nirmala. Nirmala, I saw you. Where are you now? I, I hope she yes Nirmala how was your teaching uh, you were supposed to give a demo to and the TV crew was supposed to focus you yes, cover yes, yes. Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> thank you so much ma'am uh, just now Mr. Pramod uh, spoke about uh, your school and uh, Chwadi ma'am and other educators I was listening uh, Nirmala, to play Nirmala because... just a moment Nirmala, <laughs> yes. could you please mute your microphone Usha ji Usha, ma'am, uh, could you mute your microphone? Haan, Nirmala ji, please go. 
Yeah, sure. It is always uh, an incredible session with all the stories and so much of uh, takeaways for educators. And like what Swadi Ma'am said, it is not only uh, making this arts work or, you know, displaying uh, the Minecraft and all that. The lesson that we are learning from you is plenty. So meaning to say, what are we going to do? How are we going to engage our learners? So it's running in our minds. So uh, with, I'm very happy to be part of this project and, you know, learning from zero to at least something that my students are able to produce. And they love every week they, they will be asking, what is the next SDG? What are we going to do? You know, everything is learning. Uh, they are learning online. And today my <laughs> recording session went on very well. And uh, the person who, the few people who came, they were so impressed with the paintings that my students did for SBG and with Funlish uh, Music Festival, <laughs> the achievements from my students, you know. Um, and also I talk about Human Happiness Project and few other projects as well. So they were like uh, amazed to see all these projects happening uh, online within this short of period, uh, within this one year actually. So thank you to all the educators, Paramjit Ma'am, Swadi Ma'am and Pramod Sir for giving this global uh, projects for my students and also other educators as well. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much, Ma'am. Ma'am, one last thing may I say before we end up today. This has been discussed this has been discussed before, but you remember, ma'am, we had talked about that mega art exhibition of these delightful artworks right from SDG 1 till end. And please do invite the United Nations people only for the exhibition. Just let them see what kind of works the children have done over eight to nine months. The creativity, a dedicated art exhibition with the United Nations people invited. And uh, ma'am, please make sure because this is going to be one of its kind exhibition. I mean, everybody, whole world can be invited. Just uh, do give it a thought, ma'am, to, to arrange for this. Ma'am, you're muted. God be with us. We have to find out a way how we go about it. You know, things, uh, I, I don't know, but uh, things always fall in place themselves. Of uh, uh, When we do something, it, they always fall in place. This happens and the next happens and the next happens and so on. It keeps happening. So I'm sure this uh, United Nations would automatically fall in place and we'll be able to have this uh, exhibition. So at the same time, I would request if anybody can support in this happening, it'd be so nice. If you can give ideas, something could be done. Uh, so we have Miss, uh, I, I don't know, Sir Kakkar or Sir Kakkar. Yes, would you like to say something, please? You're muted, uh, dear. Yes. Yeah, would you like to say something? You have been such a keen observer. Uh -huh, thank you so much. It was my first chance to be a uh, member to be a part of this prestigious and valuable group and uh, painting on ice was just it was just that i teach uh, kindergarten and i wanted to give them some artwork which they could do because otherwise you know parents are always helping the children they'll draw the circles or they'll color it but then suddenly i was just searching the net and i found this painting on ice it just clicked me and I have seen the children. We did it online only, ma'am. Um, I took a live session and I uh, demonstrated that we take a bar of ice and put as many colors and whatever you want to do. And the response was so overwhelming. Then I um, thought that I should share it here because it was amazing. And the parents said, ma'am, children want to be doing the and again and still the and smelt is the best part was once the top layer of ice was covered with color it was melting very fast so this is in delhi it is uh, so hot but the top layer is again um, blank sheet becomes a blank sheet for <laughs> out water and then again you have a um, you know blank, blank canvas i should say 
uh, I, enjoy the colors. This is such an incredible idea. For me, it was uh, mesmerizing. I never knew we could paint on ice. Really, I never knew. And I was yes, so yes. happy to see it. Thank you. Thank very, you. And, and I did I, comment on it that this is yes. so good. And you've participated for the first time. So thank you so much for joining. The honor to have you. It's not in the mind, ma'am. Thank you so much. I look so much over uh, uh, the response I got from the parents there and then, and the response I got here. I mean, so our session was over 35 minutes back. Can you beat that? Mm -hmm. And we're so happy interacting and talking. <laughs> My pleasure, ma'am. Thank you. So, uh, Ranjana, you're left. If you would like to say something, please go ahead and say. No, ma'am. I was just listening and wonderful ideas. Even I was thinking that we should also really try something new. Like there is such, so many new things to learn from each other. This eyes thing, even I was thinking, though I don't take junior classes, but definitely I will be sharing this idea with the uh, teachers who take uh, like kindergarten classes in my school. So it's much to learn. Fun way, you know, uh, one that is eyes, they can you know, touch and feel the, 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 the cooling effect is there, everything. It was so, so good. I just loved it. And I, I will first try it with my son today itself. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, that's good one. So, um, shall we call it a day? Shall we say bye bye now? Is it all right? Yes. Ah uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, don't forget about the uh, virtual trip. Uh, may it be? May it happen after the lockdown is over? May it uh, like that? But uh, we would like to. No, see, see uh, lockdown is over or not? Virtual trip is we are having the classes virtually. We don't intend to open it for another six months till every child gets vaccinated and every teacher gets vaccinated. That is the type of safety we have it in our heads. Great. Right? Mm -hmm. So keeping that in mind, we'll be having virtual classes. But now the school is closed. Last year, we did not close for summer vacations. This time it is closed because we just started, so we wanted to move on. So now uh, in July, uh, we'll plan out. We'll plan out a session okay. and I'll put it on the Facebook. All those who want to join, uh, I'll put days and the subjects and the classes and you all can just let me know which class you want to join and you are, all of you would be welcome. And remember, we are a family now. So it's always yes for the family. Yes. 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 And, and last, last week, I would like to uh, appreciate Charu ma'am a lot uh, uh, for being the backbone of uh, Rise Up for SDG, Charu ma'am, hats off to your hard work. Yes, yeah, virtual clap, virtual clapping. Oh, we can open up our mic center. <laughs> so, along with Charu ma'am, she has a team of uh, IT. Yes, uh, okay. IT uh, team is there. Let's clap for them also who are not speaking, yes. who are not on the screen, but we are behind the screen. Thanks for uh, thanks to everybody. And of course, Charu is the leader and she's a great support for this project. Without her, it would be very, very challenging. Yeah, she's, she's wonderful. All right. Okay, bye bye. Thank you so much. And very bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you, everyone. Take bye care. Bye bye. See you in the tweet yeah, meet. Yeah. Inshallah. Thank you for the suggestion. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye, Usha, ma'am.